Hello friends, this week's word is division and decision. There are times in life when we find ourselves in a Joshua moment, when we have to leave all that's behind and stand with God in the face of opportunity. And with this comes a fight of faith and a submission to the great I Am, who knows the way of victory. During quiet time recently, Holy Spirit revealed numerous words of knowledge to me, impressing my spirit that many are at this moment in time. These people are standing as Joshua's, aligned with God, right on the cusp of all he has promised, waiting for him to issue his next command. What's going on in your life that requires you to take courage in God for a new area and remain carefully obedient to him for life itself, like Joshua? God is as he has always been, and these Joshuas will be rewarded for their honor to him as they continue to focus on him, receive from him, and choose his higher ways. They are waking up and seeing what they know to be demarcations of old and new, of life and death. They know what God has promised, and they are beginning to see long-awaited promises begin to break open. God's way is coming into place, and there is so much grace in it all. These Joshuas are awestruck and wonder of what God will do next, right before their eyes. They know it will be as he revealed, and even better in the surprises that he didn't. They are experiencing God as wonderful in the adventure, again. They see it precisely as it is, because they have followed him here over time. They have peace because they trusted the one who never fails. They know there's more to come. In fact, it's just beginning. And now it's time for the Valley of Decision, where God flips what was into what is to come. And his people firmly decide to take hold of his way as the way to go. God will lead the willing from old to new in a big way to position them into his higher purposes. God has need of them. He has prepared them and he is with them all the way. As these Joshuas cling to God, they will receive his better and far better forward. They know he is their life source, and nothing can harm them as they remain aligned with him in his presence, his divine protection. They have had to come away with God in a grand way, and now it's time to come away from the cycles of what was into what's before them, They know they can continue to do so because they've had a lot of practice in this area. Even though there are unknowns to them, they have decided to trust God here, no matter what. They are standing firm and embracing all he has for them as they focus forward with him, leaving all else behind. And this time around, they will experience the victory. It was there for them the whole time, but now they shall apprehend it as honor produces honor. The time is right where there will also be no more laps required. I will break them through, says the Lord of hosts. They will rush in and receive. It will be sudden, eminent, and there will be much to do. It's time for God to remove the valuable from the detestable. It's time to detach the former to enter into the future with new vitality and much divinely purposed activity. It's time to receive downloads, both spiritually and materially, that will facilitate an outpouring of beauty for ashes life, flowing through and beyond each person. Just as it is with Joshua, it's time for sudden departures or divisions from some places and relationships. Some will even leave without saying goodbye, Because when God flips it, it will happen fast. And this is precisely what many have looked forward to for a very long time. So here we are, at the moment of division and decision in time, where many will choose to leave what has been familiar behind and step into what's new to them to serve God and others in new ways. So pray with me if you will. Dear Lord, thank you for a better life forward. Thank you for promises fulfilled. Thank you for your grace and mercy and leading and guiding. Help me to remain close to you through it all. Help me 
receive from you and make wise decisions that align with your character and will. May you have your way in my life fully. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.